Just give my, I've broken down my graphics and sound for to pretty much very quickly. We'll just give all our scores at the end. So graphics, uh, the 3D models and the animation are good. You know, one of the things that I will say is that on every single card that you've got here, um, they've all got their own little art, you know, just like a magic card, just like a WoW card. And these little pictures on here were not only, uh, you know, done by different artists, but then they were put into the game via 3D models. Mm -hmm. Now, the models and animation uh, are good, but there's not really any graphical showcase to warrant, I think, a high score in this game. We're going to find out That's in just a second. That's not what the game's for, either. It's not what the yeah. game is for. Yeah. So let's go ahead and let's just real quickly run through our graphics scores. Um, I personally gave graphics a 7, and now that I'm thinking about it based off of what I just said, you know, <laughs> even that could be a little high. But, again, the, it, it, it serves its purposes. You know, the 3D models and their animation could be ridiculously fucking bad, but at least they're acceptable by next generation graphics terms. With that being said, what do you guys give your graphics score? Uh, well, I'll go next. Well, let me get it out of the way, and I'll just right. say I backed up wheat. Graphics also got a seven from me. Okay. The 3D models and the textures on them actually look pretty freaking fantastic, but there's, they don't do a lot with them. You know, right. but it right. totally gets the game done. It makes my kid feel badass when he actually sees a creature pop up on the screen. Exactly. And I think it does a good job. Exactly. Yeah, I, I think I pretty much gave the same score. It was, the graphics were serviceable, and you got what you needed, and that's about it. All I mean, right. that's all you can expect, so I didn't... It doesn't really even matter what the graphics are. So, uh, moving on to sound, <laughs> uh, here's what I wrote down for this. The one song in the game is good, but that's the problem. It's just one song. Yeah. It is It is like a heavy metal like rift, which I'm glad that they didn't decide to go with some sort of like fantasy based, you know, like I it's they're fucking shredding like dar, 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 dar. And then when you put someone in check, it's like and it goes into like double fucking bass pedals and shit and you're like, "Oh my god, you know, like something major's happening here." Yeah. But it's the same song all the time. Time. So the only, I mean, the sound effects and the voices are very generic. The only things in the sound effects that I really like more than anything are the creature announcements, and I'm going to get back to that yeah, in just a second. Cool. But when you've got battle animations on, it you know, and you put down this card, it will go Elven Berserker Maiden, you know, and like this booming and 5.1. It sounds fucking awesome. The problem is, is that once you turn battle animations off, it no longer makes yeah, these creature online, announcements. They're off, like a ranked match they're already well off, so. they're not already off it's something that i'm going to talk about in just a minute so real quickly in sound i gave the sound a seven um and again redeeming quality the creature announcements it's just it sounds awesome when you hear leapfrog bandit and he like <laughs> comes out of the fucking board you know uh so i gave it a seven sumo what'd you give it? Uh, i was harsh I, I believe I gave it a five, right? Yeah. All right. Um, simply because it's one song, it's just creature announcements, but like graphics, it doesn't matter in the game itself. I don't care. Right. Um, what I do when I play a ranked match and all I do is play ranked matches is I just plug in my Zune to my surround sound and I listen to music. Which is actually too bad that the game doesn't give you the opportunity to play yeah, music off your PS3 yeah, because then it was like, great, sound just got like a 10 because effects. it's yeah. my sound. I like know? the sound effects, but I just can't take that same music over again. I just kind of like, I like, you know, the way I play, I sit back, relax, listen to music and, and just have fun and have a, you know, a nice evening alone with myself. Uh, <laughs> All right, Force. Uh, you're going to be having a lot of those if you buy this game, bitches. Yeah. Uh, well, technically, you're not by yourself. You're playing someone through zeros and ones online. Another but Force, what's, uh, what's your... Uh... You know, and I don't know if I screwed up this category, but I want to say that Sound for me got a six because I thought it was totally average, you know, serviceable. But I gave it a bonus point because of the fact that I don't have to wear a headset. A plus you know, one. my bonus point's coming into oh. the fact that I love the new eye toy. I love that I just sit at my living room, play with my cards, and it's like Wheat's right in the room speaking with me. That, you know, that yeah. might be, should have been added onto a review for the eye toy and not the game, but 
I enjoy the fact that this new iToy gives us that sitting in a living room with a buddy experience without having to have. I hate the freaking headset. You know I what? I, Force, you actually bring up a good point. Let's go ahead and let's focus on the game and let's actually do maybe a mini review of the iToy next Thursday because there are definitely things to talk about that so don't relate to the game. Right. Yeah. That we should definitely point out. So we'll just, I mean, just know that you need the camera to play the game. When you do purchase it, you get this little beast for 70 bucks. Now, this comes with the game, it comes with a deck of cards, it comes with the camera, it comes with the play mat, and a you've got this pack. shot here, Rance. You can sort of see uh, what you can get right down here. Um, you know, it, it, it comes with your little starter deck right down here. It comes with the stand, it comes with the camera, it comes with the mat. So, I mean, for 70 bucks, you're getting your fucking Camera's games work. good, too. It's not like the PlayStation 2 iToy. The, the, no, it seems it's like not Sony's, like the Xbox Vision, either. Yeah, the camera's fucking it's legit. It's solid, and, and so. Sony's actually putting a lot of effort into development for the camera, and, and if you pay attention to the gaming sites, you've seen uh, some of the products that are going to be coming out for the PlayStation i, for the PlayStation 3. Um, so even that alone... Well, we'll talk I mean, about it yeah. next Thursday. We'll go into the camera a little bit more it. The in camera's depth. worth it. And, and, and on a voice chat level, it's worth oh, it. Oh, yeah. Suma, Suma needs to investigate for uh, the next show, too. What's available? I don't even know. So I bet a lot All of All right, we'll, we'll do that. Announce we'll, a whole bunch. We'll, 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 yeah. talk, we'll talk about the iToy next Thursday as well as what's sure. going to be available and upcoming. Sure. So let's talk about what this game is really about, and that's the gameplay, guys. Yes. And uh, here's, here's what I, I basically sum this as. This game, the, the game's success is based off of, in my opinion, two factors. The first one is how is it as a standalone card game? And the other factor is its online functionality. Now, with that being said, I believe it it exceeds at both, but there are some minor flaws, and I'm going to just point them out right now. I feel, I feel like the game did a great job of teaching basics via a movie where there was a guy telling you how to play, and then these mock matches were taking place to, to help you understand. The problem is, is the game does not do the best job of teaching you advanced play and mechanics. Like, for example, Force went through the tutorial, but it wasn't until I think that he actually played a game with me and we stepped through a lot of the functionality of the cards or different ways that you could do this or you know to how me, your, your beauty, tactics though. well I mean, I mean it is in some respect because when you played Magic the Gathering you know you got this sort of stereo instruction set on this is how uh, you play the game yeah. and a lot of it is learned through play but I felt like there was definitely like for example and and force I don't mean to put you on the spot and call you out like this but Force thought that when you put a card down, that was the only time it attacked. Oh, he didn't know yeah. that if you put your action card over the card, and you know what? I wouldn't have known that unless at Digital Life, when we were getting the little tutorial, I was taught that. So, you know, like, it's these, th it's these types of things where nowhere in the tutorial did they ever say, hey, if you want your dude to attack again, here's the numbers you need to pay attention to on the card, and here's what here's, you have to here's do. Here's what I will say. Through all the press tours and everything, so right. I never even did the tutorial. From, from a newbie perspective and didn't know anything, I played the computer for several matches, never won a single one, never even came close. <laughs> yeah. I played one day with Wheat for an hour, next thing you know I was beating the computer. So yeah. it really is knowing a lot about playing the game. With that being said, the the people in the community, whether that be, you know, Fat Baby's playing, Asuma's playing, I'm playing, Force playing, you know, getting with someone who's familiar with the game, playing it even for an hour, the voice chat works great, you could sit there, you can play an unranked game, and, 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 and figure it out. The forums also, on the PlayStation forums, is a really good resource. A lot of guys asking the same questions I have. Does this card actually work this way, or this way, or what does the term incineration mean? Like, there's nowhere in the rule sets where it says that, so you have have to learn uh, through through that method. So um, the game also does not let you do custom ranked matches, which is supposed I to be in understand. a future patch. Uh. But I wish that it would. Like, if for example, when Suma and I play to test decks, you know, we can't we can't play a ranked match. Yeah. We have to play an unranked match. I wish that we could. You know, like or if Fat Baby. You know, Fat Baby's always. Well, imagine how much to... cheating you can do if you had. Yeah, Maybe you could. I don't know. 
And I refuse to play anything but ranked matches. I'll only play an unranked with Wheat if I want to test something out. Otherwise, I play only ranked. I don't play the computer. Right. I don't do anything else. Okay, so let's do something real quick. Uh, Rance, if you could give me the shot of the, of the, the game setup here. Um, let me explain to you how this is done. Now, imagine that the top of the play field is actually right here. Uh, and this is the camera. It, it looks down at the view of the, you know, of, of the game. The way that, uh, to explain how the game succeeds as a card game, just let me really quickly explain how it's played. First off, you have one goal. Your goal is to place five cards on this nine grid or board. Or eliminate right the other guy's cards. Right, or you run out of cards. Which is almost impossible. Right, which exactly. Is next to impossible. So let, put it down right here. This is the way it works. So it's always random who wins. At the start of the match, you're going to get five cards. So you draw five cards, right? Both players draw five cards. And how does then. The, uh, how does the drawing work? In oh, the, the, it, so online, it yeah, tells you what to draw. Yeah, online, it actually, it doesn't matter. I could sit here during an online game and shuffle my game or yeah. my cards the whole game. The game is actually prompting me, choose these five cards. And that is a way that they eliminate cheating. You, it rants, you can't go, well, man, if I had a healing yeah. shower right now, I could own this shit. Oh, look what appeared at the top of my deck. It doesn't happen like that. And and it, it, knows, it knows which cards you well, have. You register yes. your okay. You beforehand. register your deck. How long so, does that take? Not long. Not long. Like two minutes. Once you do it out the first time, you figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I was to say, it took me a while, but then again, I was Yeah, but once you, like, I've no. gone through so many yeah. revisions of decks. Old, I build decks. And, and even when you register all your cards in the system, you don't even need to look at your cards anymore. You can actually go in there and edit a deck with your library. Right. It actually yeah, keeps a right. library of your cards. It knows how many cards you have of a certain exactly. element, all that stuff. And you can actually edit it without the eye or without the cards themselves. Right. Okay.